I have a new series going uh, that I'm going to cover in probably two takes. Um, I'm gonna do for now the uh, the 70s, the 80s, and the uh, 90s list. That it, yeah, the top 10 decade defining hard rock and heavy metal songs of the 1970s. Uh, the 1980s and the 1990s. I'm gonna do the 2000s, the 2010s and the all-time list uh, later in another take. But I'm gonna do this now in one take, so there we go. Um, yeah, you know, I love hard rock, I love heavy metal. Uh, so, you know, the 70s was the birth of probably, you know, the hard rock, the uh, really the, the birth of heavy metal with Black Sabbath, of course. Uh, watch Mojo. Defining uh, hard rock, hard rock and heavy metal songs of the 1970s, and Judas Priest is the thumbnail. That is a great fucking thumbnail of uh, you know uh, the Killing Machine record or Hellbent for Leather to not be uh, <laughs> fucking edgy and stuff, fucking pussies. <coughs> um, you know, not the band, but people that you know uh, wanted a different name. I mean, fucking all. It's it's a heavy metal record. <coughs> Voice crack, fucking all. Um, yeah, of course, Judas Priest is gonna make the list. Uh, Black Sabbath, of course. Um, I think Paranoid is. Yeah, I mean, that's really their defining hard rock tune. Heavy metal, really. Um, I'm just looking around my room. Um, yeah, of course, Led Zeppelin with. I think Hold All The Law, that's probably the most defining song. You can say Stare With The Heaven, but I, you know, that's more kind of a, an epic rather than a hard rocking tune. Um, more, more X. Uh, Pink Floyd is not heavy metal. Uh, Rush maybe? You know, Rush is a progressive rock band, but they're kind of seen as a more hard rocking band, so maybe they, them, with uh, with 2112. That's more of a progressive epic, but still. Um, I don't really think I can name something else. Uh, yeah, of course, Deep Purple, with uh, Smoke on the Water, of course, the, the obvious picks. Uh, more? Um, yeah, yeah, ACDC with Highway to Hell. You know, barely in the 70s, 1979, so there we go. Uh, yeah, those are some picks. Uh, so those are probably go go all gonna make the list because they're, you know, definitive as fuck. That's why I think of them. What the fuck is this? I don't need to see how you put on your fucking... What the fuck was that? Weird ass commercials. Uh, Alice Cooper. Yeah, I do like Alice Cooper, but he has just way too many albums. And you know, not a lot of great ones. Well, he has a lot of, you know, great records, but he has a lot of stinkers as well. A uh, Queen? Oh Madonna, fuck no. Yeah, Tin Lizzy. The classic X. Priest. Uh, what is the most definitive Priest song? Hold on, Flutter? Yeah, yeah, the thumbnail, but... I would say Sad Wings of Destiny or something like that, or Beyond the Realms of Death. It's probably my favorite Priest song, really. Oh, the Who. How could I forget the Who? Oh, I love classic hard rocking acts like this. So fucking classic. What is this? Uh, Blue, Blue Oyster Cult. I believe Rock Blue is a big fan of this band. I haven't heard a lot from them, but still. Uh, I recognize this. Yeah. The intro. He was also one of the first heavy metal acts ever. 
I believe he even came out before Zeppelin and Sabbath. Although I'm not saying that Zeppelin is metal, but... The the I believe he yeah, had his debut in 68 or 69, so that is a long ass time ago. That's all right. I don't mind it, but why why does he keep carrying a sword though? Uh jailbreak, I think. Number nine, jailbreak, yeah. Ben Lizzie. People in the 70s, man, so fucking generic. People that dancing to uh, you know heavy metal hard rock. Fucking uh, groove to it, man. Don't fucking dance. Along with the boys are back in town, fucking pussies. Well, uh, you know, I don't care, but still. They're enjoying the music. Ooh, music fan is asking if I'm doing fine. Let's look at those comments. Let's mute myself because I'm annoying as fuck. And a new TV T video, that's all good. Thanks to its recognizable Thin Lizzy guitar sound, Jailbreak has found its way into pop culture on multiple occasions and has been covered by several artists since its release. Uh, oh, Aerosmith. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna pause this video for a bit. Um, yeah, music fan is just asking if I'm doing fine. And, you know, there is a video up today, so I don't know what you're really complaining about. Um, I don't really care about people subbing and, you know, unsubscribing from the channel. That is their choice. Um, I do care about the comments. Uh, you know, I just got a comment from Zach Charman uh, congratulating me on the 100 subs. Which I don't really care about, but still, it's it's nice, I guess. Oh, and I, I apparently love the comment. Didn't even do that, but I'm, I'm gonna keep that there. Um, I'm still asking for new, new vids. Yeah, I, I decided now that I'm gonna upload more, so please don't ask it all of the time. It's getting a bit annoying. No, not hating, but you know, I'm trying to upload daily again, so yeah, you know, I'm doing it. Aerosmith is such a shitty band. Oh my god, Steven Tyler. I believe that this is his name. I'm trying to be. Oh, that voice. That was not a horrible voice. Oh, man. This band destroys Aerosmith. Number seven. Hell bent for leather. Judas Priest. It's not even funny. How is Judas Priest only number seven? This two and a half minute metal number is a reflection of the band's transition into commercial success. Bent, bent for that, uh. Great fucking band. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna do firepower soon. Probably in a few days when I have the time. Because I have to work a shitload. Well, not a shitload, but... I have to, you know, usually I'm off tomorrow, but I actually have to work, so that's kind of annoying. 
so I can of uh, you know record the video because I'll, because I'm already doing the watch mojo vids. Can of review and react at the same time. It's a bit of a unfortunate thing. Not the hardy on stage. Uh, I guess uh, Detroit Rock City, I think. No, 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 uh, rock and roll all night, all night, of course. Number six, rock and roll all night, kiss. You know, not with uh, CH, but with uh, IT. Great spelling. Gene fucking Simmons, mate. This was the first of Kiss's songs that managed to earn significant chart success throughout the 70s. But only after a live version from the 1975 album Alive hit the market. I'm just so done with this song. Rock and Roll All Night was meant to be experienced in concert, and the fact that this release bested the studio takes top 60 showing with a top 20 chart placing proved it. Okay. I really don't care about chart success. It's like saying, you know, uh, oh, this generic pop artist or this generic pop artist topped the Billboard chart. I think, you know, who fucking cares, man? Yeah, if you're a generic mainstream pop listener, but... Serving as a rallying cry for those who love to rock, the single also pushed its parent album to the top of the charts and has maintained its status as the band's... You know, I'm gonna ref uh, rephrase this again. If you're watching Music Fan, probably. Uh, but I'm not responding to you at the moment because you keep asking the same question over and over again. Am I alright? Uh, am I gonna upload? I'm, you know I'm gonna upload when I feel like it, you know. I am in a uploading mood now, so I hope I can keep the mood up. But I can't promise it. I'm gonna try to upload daily again. Fucking skipping ball in the crowd. Yeah, Deep Purple fucking destroys kids. I mean, come on now. They actually have flawless records. Number five, smoke on the water, deep purple. This is Ian Gillen, right? Yeah, the defender for singing for this band. Never expected it to be a hit, yet this song was the crowning jewel on their most commercially successful album. What? Oh, when Richie Blackmore was still in the band. When the band was still good. <laughs> Not hating on purple, but just fucking stop. It is the most definitive fucking riff ever. People clapping to a fucking hard rock classic. People are fucking stupid. Fantastic. I believe that this is a, um, how do you call that? Um, a do over, no. Um, an improv improvisation, I believe you call it. You know the the keyboard solo or the organ solo or whatever it is. It's actually an improvisation, I think, if you say it like that. Purple is that diverse. Uh, Stone Cold's crazy. Yeah, I do think it's hard rock, but uh, what Mojo actually called it trash metal once. I mean, do you actually have a brain cell in your fucking head, Watch Mojo? Fucking hell. How is this trash metal? Number four, Stone Cold Crazy, Queen. Yeah, Share Heart Attack is a great record. There are so many great songs by Queen. English Thief. Oh my god. 
Not hating on Freddy, but he has a... He has teeth like a fucking horse. Not hating. Love the voice. Just the teeth by Englishmen. Or by, you know, English people in general. <laughs> Watch Mojo. Fuck off, mate. Watch Mojo is fucking retarded. Just don't bring that up like ever again. It's just a great hard rocking song. It's not trash metal. Fuck off. It's kind of influenced the trash scene, like you said, but just don't call Queen trash metal or don't put it in the same sentence as Queen. The, the Red Special by Brian May. Highway to Hell, of course. Get the obvious out of the way. Number three, Highway to Hell, ACDC. Just such a classic song. No shit. I can just jam out to this all day, man. Great song. Quite a time. To the promise. Jam the fuck out, man. Great. Damn. And they ended there. Oh my god. Uh, Kashmir. That's, you, you cannot go wrong with Zeppelin. Oh wow. Is Sabbath gonna beat Zeppelin this time around? That's pretty impressive, I would say. No, arguably one of the most heavenly bands ever, uh, defeated by the devil, by Black Sabbath. It's kind of ironic. Heaven and hell. Yeah, that's a Sabbath song. And a band with Dio in it. Gotta love that. With also Sabbath members. Uh, Tony and Geezer. Uh, they, I believe they did something, um, they took the studio uh, audio of the song and they blended it in with a live performance. Because if you're gonna look up this uh, song, you know, uh, the live version, Robert Plant sings horrible on that track, but I actually like the live version more because of the instrumentation, but Plant fucking sucks on the live performance. But I still love the song though. It's probably my favorite Zeppelin song, really. It's great. It's their most original song. <laughs> I have to say that. Because, you know, in the beginning of their career, probably the first four Zeppelin albums, or maybe the first two or three, they ripped off a shitload of blues acts. You cannot deny that. Just the, you know, the the jacket out, the guitar, the hair by Jimmy Page. It's such a fucking iconic image. It really is. How is the who not on this list? Fucking hell. Well, we had a lot of strong hitters though on this list. So, yeah, I, I, I guess. Uh, Won't get fooled again by the who, my favorite who song. Most progressive, the longest track in their discography, I think. I'm pretty sure. 
I mean, an eight minutes hard rock song with keyboards in it. I mean, how is that not fantastic? Uh, Stranglehold by Ted Nugent. Yeah, you know, I did hate on Ted Nugent. I do still hate the fucking clap, but he has some classic hard rock songs in, the, in his discography. Cannot deny that. Get Scratch Fever. That's one of them. Stargazer by Rainbow. Oh my god. <laughs> I fucking love this song. Uh, how I was done, this not on the list. I mean, fucking hell. Dio is a fucking god. Just listen to this song, man. Uh, go off this video and listen to Stargazer. Don't Fear the Reaper by Blue Oyster, Blue Oyster Cult. His attitude, though. Same dress inside. Number one, yeah. Paranoids. I never understood the video though, with the doll in the back. But even that is iconic. Sabbath can do that. It's a filler song. Can you help me occupy my brain? Oh yeah. Bill Ward drums. It's perfect, it really is. Oh, an orange sound, nice. Oh, I fucked it up, man. I fucked up the lyrics right there. Fuck no. Need to be called out for that. Van Halen. Oh my god, Van Halen. Um, I, yeah, I kind of knew the number one, but... You know, Zeppelin getting beat, that is a pretty impressive feat though. But yeah, you know, Zeppelin just kind of, you know, defined their own career with that song. And Sabbath uh, defined an entire genre. So that kind of, you know, goes up, you know, for Sabbath. So I guess it's number one. Yeah, it was kind of a perfect list, to be honest. Um, you know, I want to. I wanted Stargazer to be on the list, and uh, won't get fooled again. Uh, the '70s was the best era for rock music. Yeah, I can't agree with that. You know, with uh, Zeppelin and <laughs> the Beatles. Uh, yeah, Let It Be, I guess. You know, great record, really underrated in my opinion. Um, more Tin Lizzy, The Who, Blue Oyster Cult, Rainbow. You know, with the Dio era. Uh, the Purple, Sabbath of course, so many great acts. Yeah, I do agree with, you know, 70s being just the best. It was just the, you know, the most well developed, the sound was there, it was great. In the 60s it was still a bit, you know, classic rock, but psychedelic, I, I guess. But in the 70s it really got some balls, you know, and in the 80s it kind of, you know, went glam and gay and stuff like that. You know, it's kind of, you know, uh, ripped all the balls out. Um, but yeah, that was the list. Um, I did enjoy it. I did really enjoy it. Not really a single flaw on this list, except probably for the Ted Nugent one. But even that was decent, I guess. You know, it was not a bad tune. I just fucking hate Ted Nugent. Just shut the fuck up, mate. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um... Have a nice day. Uh, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Comment for more videos like this one. Let me know what are your favorite uh, hard rocking heavy metal songs of the 70s. 
And yeah, I mean, guys, this was the best. The 70s are just the best together with the 60s. Just the two greatest decades of music ever. And it's already gonna go downhill from here. But that is mostly with all of these Watch Mojo lists that, you know, they start out great with the 70s list. And they slowly get shittier and shittier with the 80s, the 90s, and the 2000s just taking a huge fucking dump on the entire thing. With new metal probably occurring. Which, yeah, is probably gonna be the case. But we're not there yet. Uh, the 80s are still gonna be great. You know, in heavy metal and hard rock, it kind of went, uh, yeah, just meh. Um, but that was the list. The other things I just said. Have a nice day. God bless to save. Take care and peace.